Alright guys, um, in this portion of the video I'm just going to show you guys the parts that were placed into my buddy's computer. He actually has a custom Linux computer that I built him. Um, it has all modern parts in it and I'm going to show you guys the list after we go through this Tux TV intro, so stay tuned. here we go this is the continuation so let me show you guys here the uh, parts list that I have put together um, so so for starters we're gonna start with this case this is a full a full size case and uh, as you can see it's the Phantom 530 white it's an awesome case. It has a uh, what is it? A 220 millimeter fan in the front, I believe. It's a huge fan in the front of it. Oh, it's a yeah. And um, it has a cool feature up here at the top. I don't know if you could see those little white buttons. Pretty much where the pointer is on the left. If you look in the image up front, right there in the middle of the image, you will see uh, a faint representation of a button. You could barely see it. Well, I could barely see it. Um, that is actually a, a fan speed control, and it also it actually controls. Let me show you. Let me see if they have any other images here. First off, that will show the backside. That sucks. No, they actually don't show it. Well, anyway, it has a... On the other side of the case, maybe about in this area here, on the opposite side, there is a... I think it's a, a, a fan connector. It It's a controller for hooking up up to eight fans to it and it's controlled by a speed controller up here so you have uh, three fan speeds that you could select uh, at the top of the case so you don't necessarily have to purchase a fancy speed controller it has that built into the case which is a good feature um, and also in the rear of the case if you're gonna mount a uh, if you're gonna mount a liquid cool system to the top of the case which you can these slots right here that you see you could adjust the fan the 120 millimeter fan or 140 up and down that's why they have these long slots so if you install the fan to the bottom of the slot it'll leave enough room for you to put that radiator up top now when you install that radiator you got to keep in mind that um, if you depending on what size cooling fan that you have installed and and what motherboard it might conflict with uh, you know whatever space you might have some space conflicts on the motherboard so just bear that in mind but it it's an awesome case I like this case a lot um, it was pretty much select he selected it so now that I've actually built a machine in that case I would like to have one for myself but I just recently bought this um, Thermaltake case that I'm using currently um, this is the SSD that we got we actually purchased this at Best Buy which is there's a local facility maybe about three or four miles away from where I live and the only reason for that is because um, 
I like instant gratification and for components like this and the graphics card we were able to price match the graphics card that's in his system too um, it is actually a GTX 950 yes I know um, 950 is a lower tier graphics card but um, for the time being is what he needs to, to get started with what he's doing uh, he is doing some gaming in it like playing some civilization type games and they run butter smooth on that graphics card he has his settings turned up to maximum settings and um, there's a few more games that he uh, plays on Steam that runs butter smooth on that 950 I mean if you want to get something more significant than that the 970 graphics card is a sweet spot um, but anyway I don't think I need to pull up that graphics card I'm quite sure that anybody who's watching this know what a 950 GPU looks like by now because there's been thousands of reviews online but anyway this is the SSD that was selected because um, it was on sale at the time and it was the best price going at the time now it's not so much prices have come down again and it's too late for us to get the difference back from Best Buy because they have a program that they do that if in a couple of weeks that the price is reduced again that you actually get a dis uh, money credited back to you but it's been more than two weeks so we're shit out of luck but anyway processor this is a processor that was installed in the system actually it was the uh, 6700 not the K model and the reason being why we selected the 6700 model is because again he's not going to be overclocking the machine and situations where he might need to um, virtualize or have a virtual system the uh, 6700K model processor or any K model processors doesn't handle virtualization very well so we went with the 6700 model because it is designed so that it could work with um, virtual systems so that's another reason why we got the 9k model but I will be getting the K model because I will be doing some overclocking on my Linux system and I want to see how well that goes all right power supply he has a 650 watt power supply but this is the one I've been looking at so that's why I have it on screen but pretty much the same look outside so eh. anyway both of them are 80 plus gold which is phenomenal so don't skimp on your power supplies guys if it's a little cheap power supply that came with your case if you're building something that's a little bit more frugal than um, <laughs> build it at your own risk with that cheap power supply because usually they don't last long but anyway the uh, RAM that's being used is a HyperX Fury DDR4 RAM and uh, it's this memory is very quick it's pretty much um, middle ground when it comes to the, the uh, frequency at um, 2,066 2,666 megahertz it is more than enough for what he's doing again the memory is overclockable Although it's not recommended high, um, by uh, HyperX to overclock these memory modules too much. But um, it is possible to overclock them to a higher frequency. But I typically don't like overclocking memory because sometimes it causes um, uh, instability with the uh, processing and stuff like that. And um, I guess... You know these are pretty good so 
this is just uh, an example of some memory that you could put in your system uh, you could get these in red white red white blue and black as you can see here anyway this is the motherboard that we chose that I chose anyway um, only because it was reviewed on um, it was reviewed on YouTube by the uh, Wendell on Tech Syndicate and uh, they have a tech Linux channel that I view from time to time whenever they upload anything because uh, they don't upload much on Linux because they're still learning how to use the operating system themselves but this is the motherboard of choice and I got to say that for anybody that's building a Linux machine and you have a few dollars to spare this will be the motherboard you should get the x99 motherboards have st stability issues to this day in Linux um, while you're running the operating system there's prop um, problems with the uh, audio chipset or you know some USB issues with the 3.0 speeds are not as significant as they're advertised but with this motherboard here I got to say guys this the 3.0 speeds are actually five times faster than the USB 2.0 um, it does have a uh, display port and HDMI DVI and um, VGA connector in the back um, because there's processors that Intel provides that you know has that graphics chip the Intel graphics built in but again to each his own if you <laughs> if you decide to use that with such a high-end motherboard I mean I don't know what to say to you but um, with the Intel and Nvidia combination on this motherboard in Linux it is a good purchase so I I, I highly re I highly endorse this motherboard right here for for you guys to purchase um, I mean <laughs> again the stability was was phenomenal with this motherboard here and uh, it actually has a USB 3.1 port right there next to to the right of the USB 3.0 slot as you can see there and it has a USB C connection in the back also I forgot to mention but other than that man phew, awesome 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 motherboard you guys so you might want to look into that but anyway after this you know we will have the uh, quick little assembly video <laughs> so that you guys could see me build this um, computer and at the end of it uh, there will be another video showing how to tweak and set up your Linux install so you guys stay tuned for that anyway that'll be it for this video guys um, coming up next will be the uh, assembly so Stay tuned right after this. guys this is the finished product my buddy's computer one thing I don't like about the uh, 
wiring on the power supply is basically those uh, multicolor cables going into the um, 24 pin connection right there but um, I try to make it as clean as I could as you can see there's not many wires that are exposed other than what's needed so there it is I wish there was a shroud that I could put over the um, gap that's right there in front of the uh, power supply so that I could cover up the cables that are exposed right there that's going into the back of the PC but that's it that is the finished product This is a Z70, Z170 build. As you can see there, I don't know if the glare from the light is not um, is preventing from you guys from seeing, but it's a uh, GTX 950 that's in the system. There is a possibility of uh, later upgrade, so that and as well as the CPU fan right there. This is actually going to be. This is temporary. not worried about that either so there it is guys the build is finished hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys for watching